We don't typically ponder the elegance of bugs, especially the annoying ones. But scientists and engineers have come to realize they are actually mechanical marvels. Nothing we humans have ever built even comes close. In fact, a growing field of engineering called biomimetics is making breakthroughs by mimicking biology. For example, studying the eyes of flies led to the development of advanced optical sensors. The physics of dragonfly wings allowed increased efficiency of wind turbines. Cockroach mechanics paved the way for increased agility in robots. A honeybee algorithm helped to optimize the internet. And the tiny plant hopper is helping scientists to maximize the strength and rotation of gears. What? Gears? In a bug? That one got my attention. I thought humans invented gears. Those perfectly precise, interconnected drivers that have transformed machinery for centuries. Well, it turns out that biology is far ahead of our engineering. The plant hopper launches like a rocket and can jump more than a hundred times its body length. That's like an Olympic long jumper hurtling across not one, but two football fields. Using special cameras, scientists at Cambridge University discovered that the plant hopper coordinates the motion of its legs with these incredibly precise gears. Making long leaps accurately requires that the legs be in perfect sync. If one leg flexed even a fraction of a millisecond before the other, the insect would lose power and tumble erratically. As one leg begins to move, the interacting gears start the other leg too. With the teeth engaged, the gears spin at a whopping 50,000 teeth per second. And the bug is propelled with maximum power and coordination. As science learns more about the structures of living organisms, we seem to be finding limitless examples of mechanisms that are both precise and purposeful, both remarkably configured and beautifully functional. So what accounts for the stark purposiveness of the machinery of life? For over 150 years, evolutionary biologists have thought they had an explanation. Darwin's theory of evolution. Darwin proposed that all life evolved simply by variation that occurred within a species. Then, natural selection determined which one survived. For example, let's look at bear evolution. Scientists believe the polar bear in the Arctic evolved from ancestral brown bears in adjacent regions. Here's a possible scenario. Many thousands of years ago, a bear cub was born with a mutation in its DNA. The change gave the lucky bear the ability to eat a high-fat diet, like seal blubber. So the mutant bear and its descendants could hunt seals for food. Generations later, a baby bear was born with another mutation that altered its color. The subsequent change from brown fur to white was useful in the snowy environment for sneaking up on prey. More such helpful mutations followed. So variation in the ancestral species of the brown bear, followed by natural selection for the harsh snowy surroundings, were responsible for building the magnificent polar bear in small steps. We can see fascinating evolutionary changes in species, but modern science now knows something that Darwin didn't know, that the changes in a species that we can see are driven by molecular changes in genes and DNA that we can't see, at least not with our eyes. Now for a few $64,000 questions. What precisely are those helpful mutations in DNA? How exactly do genes change? If brown bears can give rise to polar bears, does that mean we'll see future genetic changes making new species? 
Will we humans mutate into super-powered X-Men? We'll open that box in our next episode on the effects of mutation.